It seems to defy the laws of human strength, the ability to dig deep into one's soul and summon power and agility that many of us can't even comprehend. This paradoxical combination of violence and control is a sensation that has engrossed Mike Bensick ever since he was introduced to the sport of Olympic weightlifting back in 2013 at the age of 14. There was three girls lifting and one little guy and um, they're putting weights over their head and I couldn't lift more than the girls that day and I was kind of like, holy cow, you know? It was shocking, so I just made it um, a short-term goal to train. With a strong work ethic, Mike quickly took to the sport. His first competition coming only three months after joining the gym at the 2004 BC Winter Games. Later that year, while competing at the Junior Provincial Championships, a single defining moment created a drive that would last throughout his youth. I clean and jerked my first 100 kilo, and my dad was in the back. And when I did it, like he's actually not a very like emotional guy. He's Hungarian, right? So I noticed that when I did it, and it was like all the effort I had, I saw that he was kind of tearing and walked away. So I walked up to him and I was like, Dad, and he was just like, I'm proud of you, son. That's it. So at that moment on, I think because it made my dad proud, it made me want to do it really like a lot more. So from there, then I was like, okay, I'm doing this. In 2009, after six and a half years of competitive lifting that took him to the top of the provincial ranks and then on to the national stage, the 20-year-old college student made an impulsive decision, one that took him away from the sport he had invested so much into. I'd finished my fourth national and you know everyone always wanted me to go further. There was a lot of pressure from a lot of people around me and in BC weightlifting. The pressure got to me and it was kind of like relieving the quit almost, you know? So a lot of things built up over time and it was just kind of something that had to happen. Following a three-year period devoid of lifting, one event, albeit a significant event, hit Mike hard, turning his life upside down and causing him to question his past, present, and future. My dad had got really sick in early 2012 and he had lost his right leg. I remember my dad said when he got sick in the hospital bed, you know son, you have to look back on your life and be happy with everything you accomplish. And if you're not happy, you gotta do something about it right now. And I went home and I just like the whole night sat and I was like looking at everything I could be happy with. It was everything I did before 2009, before May 2009. And I was like, holy cow, it's time to change everything. After only one year of training, Mike did what he thought was impossible, qualifying for the 2013 National Championships. He was back on top, doing what he loved, but that thrill was short-lived. Later that year, he suffered two herniated discs in his lower back, a debilitating injury that would threaten his weightlifting career. Rather than opting for surgery, he chose to heal his broken body naturally. But during rehabilitation early in 2014, he endured yet another blow with the death of his father. At that point, he hit rock bottom, but rather than back into a corner and hide, he rose to yet this latest challenge and did what he had been doing his entire life, fighting for what he loves. It was this courage that carried him through, and in May of this year, he once again did the impossible, qualifying for nationals and placing third in his weight class. With all the setbacks I've had, you know, I was kind of laughing myself in the back. I'm like, I'm in the warm-up area again. What am I, how did I get here? You know, like what kept driving me, other than the, the simple things like my dad saying, make sure you do it, do it right, or myself just loving the sport of weightlifting. So, cause like, it's just insane, literally insane. With a renewed drive and the determination to break down any barriers that stand in his way, Mike continues to build both his strength and his confidence. His goal is to place in the top 10 at nationals and crack a future Olympic roster. With progress being made every day, Mike's building for what he hopes will be a long and successful career. If you can mentally keep your head in the game long enough, stay injury free, and just 
you know, train hard every day, then you can make it. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna. Oh!